way I step, hmm, something in my jeans. FOI, NOI, you know that's the team, huh? Peace. This is your brother Aiden X, and welcome to the processing class. Peace. This is brother Aiden X, and welcome to the processing class. Today, I got a very, very special brother on here, brother Spinks God. Salam alaikum. Salam, sir. Uh, the first question I'd like to ask you is, how did you get the teachings? Were you uh, born in a nation, a quote unquote nation baby, or did you get it some other type of way? Yes, sir. Uh, well, yeah, I got the teachings um, through through my uncle. Yeah, he was a uh, he was a five percenter. He was a five percenter, you know. I got it in the trenches, bro. Like who's in it? Yeah, he gave it to me in the trench. He was teaching one day, came from home from jail. He was weighing the earth, weighing the moon. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, why is you out here selling drugs? <laughs> and this right when like phones just started getting like um, internet service, where you can just look stuff up, it'll take like a minute to pop up. So he was weighing, uh, he was weighing, he was sending uh, square miles of the planet. I'm like, bro, you can't, he's like, man, what's the square miles of the earth? I'm like, what? Look it up, find it. What? You feel me? And that's when I really first got introduced to it, bro. Outside of having messages of black men all through my household, but when he really started like building on it, I'm like, whoa, this is different. That's how it happened. Yes, sir. Uh, what made you say, man, wow, this is different? You know, because most of us, man, when we get some knowledge, man, you know, it's boring. You know how school is, man. We get some type of information and it don't really hit us like that. What made you say, oh man, this is different? Um, I always knew it was different when I first when I first heard when I seen a black man uh, say what's the square mileage of the earth and was right. I never heard nobody speak like that at that high multitude of, uh, you know, of uh, may seem like trivia, but actual facts. You know what I'm saying? And um, I knew right then and there it was different. And then when I when I seen the, the book, you know, the black man being God, message to the black man, black man being God, things of that nature. He used to draw, he did graffiti. So he used to do a lot of these drawings and graffiti for real. And we'll always have something with the teachings in it. You feel me? So I went one down with the school. He was saying the black man God was calling everybody God. So then I went and I'm like, peace God, I'm calling you nigga. Like 15, bro. Had the whole school saying, what's peace God? What's up, God? It was like a big thing for real. And I had to, they stopped it because it was getting so big in that school. <laughs> and it was like, you know, I knew it. Like, I, knew, I that's when it really did. I'm like, damn, this is real. Bro. Like, this is a real effect just on the language, just that quick. And I heard that, you know, heard him say it. And then we st studied the message of black man. And then, you know, like, read it. I read a couple pages and then take it to school. And then it, you know, see the change that quick? I said, oh, damn, this sounds different, bro. This sounds different. That's what, that's what I knew, bro. This is different. Seems hard. Yes, sir. Uh, what made you say, man, I, you know, because we get the teachings, man. We can do whatever we want with it. But what made you say, man, I'm going to register? Um, well, it took, it, took, it took me a while. I mean, when I first heard it, I mean, because he was he's not registered, right? He, um, he was in the, we was in the streets, bro. Like, we was, we was in the streets, bro. Heavy. And uh, ultimately... Um, I remember one time I asked him, like, bro, why you don't join? And, you know, he was basically like, man, I ain't going to like Malcolm. You feel me? And then, like, basically saying I die for no reason. Die in vain. You feel me? And I remember him saying that. I went back out to the, you feel me? Went back out to the trenches for real. And um, one dad's got fed up, bro. I'm like, I got to, I got to see for myself. You feel me? Like, I got to, I have to see for myself, bro. Like, it was so much, everybody was getting murdered around me. Um, and um, it was just a thing where it was like, bro, I remember him, me and him talking, and he was like, if I was joining anything, I would join a nation, you feel me? And my aunt came, my aunt came to my house one day. I was I was in a, you know, it was just tough. It was a tough condition. It was raising, the house was crazy for her. So I was like, she was looking for my uncle. She was looking for my uncle and my mother. I'm like, man, I come, you feel me? That's when I started coming out, coming out. At the wild, bro, I just, you know, it was just that moment where it's though, I was in the streets and I was just like, bro, I want to, I want to be a, a, a father. I want to be a husband. You feel me? I want to be a, I want to be a great man. I want to just be known for what I was known for. I counted everything I was known for now. And I knew that it wasn't serving me. I knew, you know, like me being known for music, known for, you know, being stand up, um, always showing love, loyal with things of that nature. Um, dealing with a bunch of, you know, like having a bunch of um, women attracted to me um being known for that you feel me like easily like the gift the gap per se that type of type of status um you know and just that real boy person i knew that wasn't enough that it was gonna be at the end of my hyphen you feel me like gravestone i'm like bro I, this is not enough bro this is not what i planned for you feel me i was always told 
anybody that still was having that this was a lie when he told you it. So I'm like, bro, I gotta, I have to see what's next, bro. And that's when, that's what literally made me join, bro. I left the streets, put the, the guns down, put the drugs down. And I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it three years, bro. That's what I told myself, I'm gonna give it three years, bro. You feel me? And if it don't work, then hey, all right, I'm gonna, you know, go back to, you know, what I'm doing, but I gotta give it a shot. I gotta give it a real shot. And I just kept, I just, I didn't even, bro, I just kept coming to the Mars, bro. Kept going, kept going, bro. I came with a year straight, bro. Just studying, just listening, just studying, asking a whole bunch of questions, just going to buy a whole bunch of books. Um, and you know, and then it's like, bro, it's time, bro. Like it's time. I want to see who's upstairs. You feel me? So I, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, can you just go into some of that? You know, you say you was in the trenches. You, you know, you had to put the guns down and the women yeah. and all that. Can you just go into who you was before you um, registered into Nation Islam? I was a demon, bro. I was, I was, uh, <clears throat> I was a demon. The world made, you know. The world make you a you know a savage for real, bro. I was never I was always one for knowledge, bro. But even at the end, you know, my brother gave me the like say the teachings, you know, it wasn't enough because um, you know, I never seen like I never seen the nation, I never seen them in action, I never seen uh nobody come in my community, I never seen that, never, bro. I never seen no black men just like out in the community like how we doing now with this capacity. I didn't see it, so I seen the Michael X movie, I seen all that, but I'm in the streets hard, I'm in the streets so hard, bro. The drugs. They in me, bro. I'm talking about, you feel me? Damn it, you name any drug, I didn't damn near did it outside of, you know, coke and dope. But anything else, more, I did it, bro. You feel me? Molly, Zannies, Perps, Bars, you feel me? Um, and we was out there, like, when I, my homeboys was dying, it got to a point where I know of a, I'm talking about shook their hand, bro. Like, friends, like, you feel me? Grew up with. Uh, I know of, I don't know of 50 people that was murdered. Like, no, like, you feel me? Like, we hugged each other, gave each other five, chill over 50 and um the different is, is it became like the norm and one day I, I was listening to the minister bro painted with black man bro and um and i was just like damn this man know my whole thinking you feel me like he know yeah. exactly what i'm thinking like this shit was crazy and um prior to, i just said i can't, I can't keep doing this shit you feel me because like all my homeboys was dying bro like he was just dying bro i know how to fight <clears throat> you feel me i, I, I was always good with my hands however it was like it got to the point where when I started carrying guns, like I was like, man, this shit crazy. Like, you feel me? I started calling like when somebody was going down. I just started just like, like really becoming the thing where as though I could, bro, this is gonna happen. That's gonna happen, and boom. And, I, and when that happened, bro, I'm like, I can't keep going. If that's gonna happen, I can see my death. You feel me? Um, I bro, it was just like a thing where as though, bro, everything was like, it was like a broken record. Like I know what's the end. I I really could see the end. Like I could see it. So. When it comes to like the 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 environment, bro, it was just death all around me. You feel me? It's still like that in the community, but we bring that light. It's more light now. Um, and uh, with the women, with the relationships, it was it was it was artificial, it was superficial, bro. Like, if you think about polarity and continuum, I started raising these questions, bro. Like real live, like raising these questions. I got into my homeboys and all that. Um, it's no different from the rat and rapper, bro. The real nigga. You feel me? Like it's no different. Meaning, this real nigga is destroying the community. Yeah, so he might not tell, but guess what, bro? He is telling himself. When he's when he going them taking them pictures, he's telling himself, right? When he's when he making them quotes and he insinuating they sell dope, he's telling on himself. You get what I'm saying? And I really challenge that shit, bro. Like I really challenge it, like all that, bro. It's no different. You feel me? Like it's really no different from six nine in any other rapper for real. Because guess what? They're speaking about incriminate incrimination. You feel me? So I'm like, bro. This is really a trap. Like I'm done. Like, and then when yeah. I read, when I wholeheartedly realized it, bro. When I really like, when they like, I really like. Oh no, bro. It's no end. Like, hey, wait, I'm gonna tell you this one, one, this quick story. Like, had a homeboy. He got shot, right? And um, he kept saying he said this to me like seven, seven times. Right, the stop him. Kept telling me. It. I don't know if because of drugs, he kept repeating the story every time he seen me. He was like, bro, when I got locked up, bro, I got locked up for a gun. He was like, um, bro, the the the, the officer said. It was a something called um, a, a rat book. He brought him a rat book, right? He was like, bro, they opened a book, bro. And he was like, uh, they had the gun. And he said, did this, this person shoot you? Bro, I never told a damn in my life. I never ratted nobody in my life. And um, they was trying to get him to rat. No. He was like, no. Nah. And man, and him, cool. We cool. We grew up together. Now we got in an argument and none of that. You feel me? He's like, no, he didn't stress my mans. And they kept like trying to push the narrative of me shooting him. Never shot him, bro. Never. You feel me? That was on that type of time with none of my homeboys. You feel me? So it was like, Dang, bro, this really, you feel me? Like, this, he kept telling me the story every time he seen me, like, bro, stop telling me that story. You told me, like, 10 times. He's like, oh, my, it's just crazy, bro, because, like, I know you didn't shoot. I know who shot me. 
Like he knew who shot him, right? And it was like, bro, this really, a, you feel me? Like, this really a trap, bro. Like they really, they really, you know how they pin you on the board in the movies and shit like that? I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, they really got us in them offices talking about, talking about this in them spaces like that. You feel me? Yeah. And it was like, bro, I had to make that decision, bro. And I, you feel me? I made that decision when I, you feel me? I, I just got blessed, bro, to the point where I, I seen it. I just like, I've, you know, it's like, you ain't hit your rock bottom. I'd say this, when that rock bottom is a solid foundation, so that rock bottom is solid fact. Like, you know, it's the fact you've been looking for is that foundation that like, I can start from here. And when I realized, bro, this is, is no out, you feel me? Bump the rappers, that's one in per se, so-called, right? It ain't it. This ain't it, bro. I ain't, it's not it. I'm going to be dead. I'm going to kill somebody. You feel me? I'm going to be lined up. So that's when I made the decision. You feel me? When I realized it really was, it was a, it was a rap. And I seen all the murders. You feel me? And I seen the rate of people that's successful to nothing. It was nine zero percent. No one successful. You feel me? No one got away. No one, you know, it, nothing like the movies. Everybody got murdered. You feel me? Like that's Baltimore though. So you can see it in Chicago. You may see it in uh, Louisiana. You may see it in New York. You may see it in other places, right? In Houston, but not in Baltimore. And when I seen it, I'm like, man, you know, I just knew it. I'm like, bro, they selected it. Not, you feel me? It was just, so I just I just made that decision, bro. After that, I'm like, I can't, I'm gonna give it a shot. So that's when we do it, bro. Yo, sir, man. Hey, man, that was a great answer. Uh, this next one, man, I'm on your Instagram and yeah. we see you building with the brothers on O Block. You know, O Block is famous, especially in hip hop and rap and things of that sort. What are some misconceptions people have of the brothers in O Block? Um, from you being in there and actually talking with the brothers and the love, as you said, was authentic. Um, one of them really was that they, they, bro, they just like the, they just like any other black, black brother, bro. You feel me? They just like me. It's just like you for real, bro. It's just the, the, the environment, you know, it's just the environment and it's the, the behavior, the mentality behind it. However, I had that mentality. So when we was in there, um, you know, I was pressed. I ain't like, bro, I was pressed. Like, I wanted to see the brothers, like, because I genuinely knew my heart is the same. I knew that I got to a place in my life where I knew. It's the same thing. You feel me? I've been through enough experiences. A lot allowed me to go through certain things and know this is really the same thing, right? And it's different from everybody else because everybody responds to people in their own type of way. Like when I started, when I joined the nation, bro, I was un- super uncomfortable being around brothers smiling all the time. You feel me? Ask me questions. Hey, brother, how you feel? I'm like, that made me kind of like, well, like, bro, I'm not used to that. Brother said, bro, we, I'm not, I'm not asking these questions to be like a police. I'm your brother, you feel me? And uh, this is what brothers do, you feel me? I'm like, I look at, I looked at it like that when I was net naturally, but then my my circumstances maybe didn't look at, look at it like that. So for me going in the trenches, when we were trying to go in the trenches, I'm excited, I, I'm, you feel me? So when they got there, it was like the brothers just like us, bro. Like real talk, you know, the, but the thing is the concept, the misconception is they stupid, bro. They know what's going on, bro. And the thing mm-hmm. is they buying into it, bro. They want out. Their out is in their mind, bro. The music. Look at Dirk. You feel me? Bring he on. Yeah. I want to be on. I, it, it happened. Look at Chief. He's he on. I, it can happen. You feel me? So when you see it come that close to your home, it just hit different. You know what I'm saying? My story may have been different if somebody, you feel me? Like how with this whole syntax of the conversation, which was beautifully, the questions was beautifully put place. You feel me? Like it might have been different. Like I'm going to keep trying. By my mm-hmm. hand. It's that close. Your man you grew up with, y'all didn't went to school together. He a millionaire. You feel me? No fathers, no father figures. So, but these brothers know, man, this ain't right. I, we talked to my brother at the end of the dialogue. He was like, bro, I'm a Muslim. Like, yeah, Russian nature. You feel me? But he didn't say that off the rep. I was talking to Boston. He didn't say that off the rep. But he said, bro, I'm a Muslim. I'm like, bro, that's our nature. He was tapping in. It was love. You feel me? You did the poem. Just let him hit a rap for it. Like, man, they, they responded and said, like, bro, damn, that really happened. Like, you feel me? Like, dang, he really saying what's really going on. It was, it was, they didn't expect it. Like, they didn't expect it. And just like, like a lot of people wouldn't expect them to be receiving, them brothers are just like us, bro. They really no different. It's the decisions. You feel me? Yes, sir. Um, what do you think, like, about people, you know, some people may be watching this and may, you know, be afraid to register in a nation or practice righteousness because they don't want to look at a saw, you know? So a lot yeah. of people with reading and stuff, man, you looked upon as acting white you know, regurgitating yeah. information. So uh, yeah. what do you say to people that's like, man, I don't, I don't want to be in a nation because I don't want to be soft. I don't want to read because I don't want to be looked upon as acting white. What do you have to mm-hmm. say about that? I say we, we're the creators of uh, uh, all mathematics, you feel me, and all knowledge. So um, that's, there's nothing soft about that. It actually takes, it takes heart to do that, you feel me? 
It takes hearts to, to educate yourself about yourself. See, we all, it's one thing to know that, that you're independent, right? Because that's what one wants to think. Oh yeah, I'm independent, I'm doing this on my own. That's what the, that's what the white man is, is subscribed to, science. Like we did this on our own. You know, we give our praises to God, you feel me? So is that thing of like, I'm a boss, I did it on my own. Nobody want to say I follow somebody, but I tell brothers all the time, bro, everybody follows somebody. You feel me? We all follow somebody, bro. That's the three bodies of learning, you feel me? Definition, mass, and gradient. The mass is the material of the body. If somebody say um, in third, first grade, we're going to learn about the earth, the teacher go grab the globe, bro. You feel me? So to be a strong black man, you have to see, be around a strong black man. To be a good husband, you got to be around a, a good husband. To be a, a, you feel me, a positive role model, you have to see that. You have to see that body, that manifestation in the third dimension. So in seeing that, it's like, you feel me? They, it's really that thing where I'm not, I didn't, I'm not used to seeing it. I don't, I think the, the, the thing about this white, I think brothers at a point where they know is we, we're the creators of the knowledge, we're the makers of the knowledge, you feel me? More, but more so, bro, is it, I want to be cool. The recognition piece, right? Which falls into the psychological warfare of what? The, the media, right? Most effective devil in America, like Bro, this is what's cool. Like, bro, I, we didn't get any brother jobs, bro. We get many brothers jobs, bro. I didn't, got, I didn't put a lot of brothers in position, bro, to get jobs, bro. And you know what I realized, bro? It's bigger than the money, bro. It's about recognition. They want to be known for something. You feel me? And in being known for something, they don't really think that they don't see themselves being known. Majority don't see themselves being known for this. You feel me? Known for being positive. So I would tell a brother, man, listen, bro. Want to set is yourself. You when you, when you accept your own, you being yourself. Bro, it's, it's, when you accept, you know you know, it's your nature to be positive, to build and destroy the things that's not right. You're going, you're going to, you're going to promote, it's going to promote itself. It's going to do what it's supposed to do regardless because you're in alignment with your divine purpose. So I come from the, I'm, and I'm just learning this, you feel me? Like, and still building and, and building on it because my goal is to master the delivery, the, under, the thorough understanding and the delivery of it, right? I genuinely feel like I have a, a great understanding of it, but the delivery I'm still working on. But um, just divine purpose and divine harmony, you know, there's a lot of this, this segregation and like and discrimination and like men versus women and, you know, what's the right thing to do. And it's like, bro, are you in divine harmony with your purpose, bro? Are you in divine harmony with the, the opposite sex? Are you in divine harmony with what you're giving out to the world, which is a message? Feel me? And the message needs to be what? To better the people. So. I feel like people want to keep this idea, last point, this idea of like, I can protect my family. So they, they feed on a gangster rap music the most. That's really why they, they let a person know, I'm going to protect my family. And they may go at these extremes with it because all we know is pain. So when we're trying to be, you feel me, make a point, we go to extreme levels because that's, we know so much pain, especially the masses. And if you're not trained to, you know, calm it down, level it out, you will always be, you feel me, on a, man, that's too much. That's too much reading. But that's yeah. too much positivity. I need a little bit of negativity. You feel me? So yeah. it's about it's about getting around the right people, bro. I'm telling, get around some people for get, get around some people that's doing better than you, bro. Get around some people that want to see you win 100 percent and and then talk to me in 30 days. Yes, sir. Uh what do you what do you feel about people, man? They may be watching this and maybe like, man, I'm living life. Uh, you know, what what am I gaining joining the nation of Islam? Because man, I'm getting money, I'm getting racks, I'm getting banned selling these drugs. Man, I'm having fun, you know, getting drunk. I'm I'm having fun sleeping with these women. So what am I gaining? Because it seems like I'm losing a lot. Yeah, yeah, lineage, lineage and legacy, bro. We don't understand. See, a wise man respects time. You feel me? Uh, the Amish was right. I said the wise man respects time, bro. And um, that's a waste of time. And we know it. That fun is fun, bro. The root word of fun, bro. If I'm not mistaken, is fool. I know nice is being a fool, but fun. I think fun is being a fool as well. You feel me? And it's like, why? Because you don't have no direction. And if that's your direction, what's the, re what's the results of it? We know the results. So we gambling, you feel me? Because we don't see the true, the true value. And I mean, when I say the true, I mean in the absolute sense, not in the, oh, I heard that before. I don't know what y'all want. No, if you, if you truly understood that message, the truth, you feel me? I wouldn't we, have, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now, but it's needed, right? That's why we on this, this, this call right now, this meeting right now, because it's something about not understanding my wife gonna be affected by this. My daughter gonna be affected by this. My son gonna be affected by this. So if I die, my son will be against gangster, my son die, right? 
if I'm in the streets and I get locked up, my son could potentially bump what I'm talking about. Son, good school going. I'm like my father. Bump all that. I'm about to sell this dope. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to have a sex with a whole bunch of women, get AIDS and die. No lineage. You feel me? Peep the trick. That's what I tell him, bro. I would say peep the trick, bro. Because like I was saying, it's one thing I think you your, your thoughts are independent and you coming up with this stuff on your own. But once you realize you was tricked, it's a whole different feeling. Like, damn, you were cheating on me this whole time. You feel? Like, once you realize, damn, I, I don't, oh, that's not me. That's them. They running this. Mm. They allow me to, 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 to exist in this mm. Matrix, you feel me? In this, in this, in this, in this platform, in this body of uh, this body of um, people, and uh, and this body of thought processes, societies, and you know, and mentalities. They allow me to, to thrive here, even if it's a poison, even if it's a poison ivy. They still allow me to thrive here, and this poison ivy look, this purple poison look good to people right now. But a wise person still, no, that's no, that can't, that's that's messing up what was the good, the good weeds. Let me chop this out. You feel me? That's messing up the good fruit. Let me get this up out of here. If you think that poison is good for you because someone taught you that that is not wrong with that poison, it's not wrong with them chicken pox. That's that's a teaching. So, you know, I I genuinely think that um it's about lineage, bro. It's about lineage. You feel me? Yeah, you want you, you know, we want to have experiences, um, but what about your family? See, a lot of people say this, bro. This would be the point for it. When it comes to lineage, I'm doing this for my family. You, you always see a rapper, a success, man. I'm doing this for my family. My family good. No, they're not. They're not good. And you, they shouldn't want to be good. They should want to be great. You feel me? Because that's your family. And you and you profess. Profess. Profession meaning, you know, speak of. This is what you do. Your family is going to be great. You're great. Well, why you, you're supposed to be better. That's lineage. So why not? Why not get keep that same energy all around? Not just for your son in that private school. Put why are you not putting these youth on? Put these youth on and let them know because your son, go, the children, going to go for what they what they see you do, not what you say. So you know, I would tell these brothers: think about lineage, man. Think about your grandmother and what she sacrificed. Think about think about those people that really cared, you know, and what you you know. I wouldn't I wouldn't speak to just the women and the girls. I would literally say, you know, that's easy. It's like a broken record, bro. Like when you go in the club, you know, Meek Mill, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought out, y'all, you know, it's gonna come on at, 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 at 12 30 before they go to get to, you feel me? If you're in certain places, you know that Gucci man on deck gonna come on, that lemonade, you, you know that's gonna come on. You know that wipe me down gonna come on. So it's like, bro, when is it like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do something else, you feel me? So that's how I approach it, broski. Yes, sir. You know how in the nation, man, uh, you know, we don't arm, we don't carry. What would yeah, you bro. say to some people watching this, man, be like, man, how the hell am I gonna protect myself? without caring, you know, without caring that on me? How how are black people going to be able to protect themselves against white supremacy without holding a gun on them? Yep, because I would let them know, um, true, and I, I would, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this, I would write it differently, I would say true education, it makes you uh, superior than all, any weapon, you feel me? I would, cause they really look, we know that they looking for a reason. I give them that, I give them to them. I give them to what the messengers say. They looking for a reason, bro to come down here and, you know, with their spray chop and, and let, let all of us have it and nobody's not going to defend us, you feel me? But I always strive to not, but pardon me. However, I you know in addition, right? In addition, but in telling them that, I um strive to let them know like, bro, it starts with the mind, bro. You know, it starts with the mind, bro. See, the thing is your environment is more so subjugated to like your, 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 your attractions and your pain. So pain can then become attract attractive because it's based in attachment, right? So when you attach something, it's an addition. And in addition, you attract, right? So when you're in pain, you may attract to something that speaks to your pain and say, man, that fits me. It's going to make me feel good because it speaks to my pain. So I say that to say when these brothers walk around with these guns and they saying, man, I, how you feel? The reason they walk around with these guns is not because they want to have guns, bro. It's because they didn't see somebody get murdered from that's painful to see somebody get murdered so now you instead of saying bro i'm gonna murder you back they say skak i keep this 30 click 30 to let you know bro i'm prepared you feel me i'm i, I want to live my life but that's a very uh elementary way to say i want to live my life you feel me so i would let them know what's a better way of saying i want to live my life by putting the guns putting the drugs away putting the guns down um bettering your environment bettering your community bettering your body you feel me? Being come more financially literate. You feel me? And when those things happen, you won't even be in them environments to even think like that. 
I was told if you got to be somewhere with a gun, you don't need to be there. So, because that means it's fear-based. So let's challenge the fear-based perspective, you know? What's true fear? True fear is if you trust something, why do you got to have a gun? Oh, just for protection. No, sir. No, if you trust it, you don't need you look if you trust your woman you, you make love to your woman you, you don't you know that's your wife you're you having a child you're going in proper if you got to strap up you got to protect it from any disease then that means you don't fully trust it so same thing with your streets so you already know you don't belong there bro so that's that's how do we get out the hood because that's the profession of these artists you feel me like the artists the, the rappers i made it out the hood i live in this big house so the goal is that right all right the goal is that then how do we get there you gonna have that gun, okay, okay. Well, you think bro got a gun in Calabasas? Hell no. They're for decoration, right? Oh, somebody coming, he can protect his family. Oh, that's great too, right? I'm not knocking that, right? But we talking about like what you saying, we speaking to, bro, I'm carrying this mom, I'm shooting, I'm aiming, you play with me, I'm gonna kill you, right? You talking about those, those brothers, those sisters, right? Bro, you shouldn't even be in that environment, bro, because that environment is not, you feel me, conducive for you to succeed because you're gonna have to use that one day or somebody gonna use it on you. So I, I, I raised that pain point of bro. And when they get there, what you I, I raise it to them like that. When they get there, where you gonna go at with it? They're gonna say, I'm gonna go there. And what happens next? I'm gonna just be dear to my children. And I make them think about their children. I make them, I, I, I make them think about their family because we always saying we're doing it for somebody else. Because if we allow someone else to get us that angry to shoot them, right? How then how 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 do we feel about ourselves? We feel like we're powerless without this guy, you know. So I let them die. I go to fan, I go to the pain points of bro. What's next afterwards? And how, no, how do we get to the next space without you having to use that joint? And what happens if you got to use it? And then what? So now you can make the decision for yourself. Like, dang, well, I don't want to be here, and I do want to be there. So let's strive for that, the successful space. Yes, sir. Yeah, brother. I just want to thank hey, you for bro. coming on the platform, man. Yeah. And I def I definitely look forward to building with you in the future. Hopefully physically, Absolutely. man, meeting meeting up with you. But Absolutely. I appreciate you for coming on your little brother's platform, man. The small platform we're trying to build up. Man, you the big bro, man. You the big bro. <laughs> we're gonna build it up, bro. Um, you know, you're gonna tap in. Uh and, and what city are you in again? I'm in Las Vegas, my 75. Yes, sir. We, bro, we're gonna we're gonna make something happen, bro. The thing is, um, I want matter of fact, after this call, just hit me up, bro. We're gonna tap in. I'm gonna talk to you about something. Yes, sir. But thank you, man. Right. Thank you for coming on the platform, man. Make sure you check out his music, Brother Spink Spot. Yes, yes, sir. The culture shift, man. Tap in with us. Uh, August 14th, my project dropping. That's going to be my um, born day. So let's tap in. Peace and blessings. Yes, sir. Salam alaikum.